Hey guys, what's going on? Today we're going to talk about not getting caught up in trends and how Skynet is 30 to 40 years away. Um, I've been having some discussions and every time I put up a video talking about how shorts are a bad ideal for me and what I do, I get a lot of people who want to comment from a theory perspective. And this is why I say theory. I've studied shorts pretty hard for the last six months. And I, I keep coming back to the same conclusion. Right now, there are a ton of YouTube channels that have built their YouTube audience of anywhere from 100 to 200, 300. Some of these channels have two and three million subscribers and their primary content are shorts. I got a question for you, and please put this in the comment section. If shorts were the best way from a marketing perspective to get customers, why are 99% of the YouTube advertisements are not shorts? Put that in the comments. Because, you know, th this is one of the things, like, I get a lot of you who want to argue and stuff, and you want to argue from theory. You want to argue from your perspective, but you're not actually in these streets doing the work. You're not, because I can tell by your comments, because you never say, well, I got these kind of results from shorts. That is never the comment. It's always, well, you know, I feel that you should be... Once again, I've, I've looked at it. Um, I'm going to say something that's going to sound a little Calvinistic, use that word. I probably will not ever do shorts unless I wanted to create a shorts channel. I'm just not going to do it because I have seen the results. I have seen. Now, there's a lot of people in the YouTube um content training strategy that recommends you do shorts and it, it's a way to get subscribers it's the way to get a bunch of views but it's just not a way to get money man it's just not a way to get that money and um all right <clears throat> this we're in the corporate citizen playbook the steps to building your two hundred fifty thousand dollar a year business now what we have done is we've gotten into a lot of training we've got into a lot of stuff and this represents five hours of training now this talks about the hidden company the understanding of C corps as you can see the S corp formation and guidance this is quite long there's a lot of training there creating a hidden company for me corporate banking so what's going to happen is there's going to be a lot more. There's currently five hours in the corporate citizen playbook. And this weekend I'm going to work really hard and there should be by the Monday morning or Monday afternoon, we should have 10 hours because I'm going to get into the things that you need to do to set up a company, the things you need to do to form a company. So this is going to, this is going to happen. I'm going to raise the price of this once I introduce how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel training which is going to be very long it's probably going to run into July and then the price of this is going to go up and I'm going to have a separate price for the people who want the YouTube training just to see what people want but once again if you want to go ahead and get in and also uh, I got to give out this laptop which isn't here but I got to go through my um, student sections and actually set that raffle up but once again what's going to happen is the price is going to go up i've had people it's like hold off another month you know wait i'm like look i can't wait until you get your money together for me to make moves in my business i'll be waiting forever so what's going to happen is may 31st 12 p.m the price of this goes up and then june 1st i will introduce the how to start a YouTube training and we're going to have a lot of fun because this if you want to get in 
And if you want the YouTube training, what you want to do is go ahead and get into the Corporate Citizen Playbook because everyone that gets in now for this low, low price using promo code JUMP, J-U-M-P, there's going to be a lot of training. And I guarantee you there's going to be people who could have got in and they're going to see all the training, let's say August to September, and they're like, man, I should have got in. I should have got in. And they're going to get in later because each month the price is going to go up and there will be more selections and stuff as more training comes out. So once again, to go ahead and to set yourself up, you want to go ahead and get in as soon as possible. Because right now with the money course, with the productivity course, we're, we're at about 14 hours of training that you're already behind. So if you want to go ahead and start catching up, go ahead and get in now. This is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next one. I was watching someone who does YouTube training and she said, start your channel off. If you're brand new, starting a brand new channel, start your channel off with shorts. And that actually makes sense because if you're starting a brand new channel and you start off with shorts, you can get to a thousand, 2000 subscribers pretty quickly with shorts. Now what I would do, I would start off with shorts until I got to my thousand subscribers. Then I would immediately delete all of my shorts and start producing long form content because you, you've got your subscribers, the shorts got you the subscribers that you need. And then I would start producing long form content. I wouldn't actually delete the shorts because those views count towards watch time, but I would hide them. Now, why would I do that? Due to my research, active research, looking at the numbers, the active research, I have seen this over and over again. I tried shorts that hurt my channel. See, there's this theory that everyone should do shorts. And I've seen people come up on shows talking about I was doing shorts and the guy that come in on my shorts, come in on one of my longs. And that's just not the norm. I mean, literally, I found a YouTube channel that was built on shorts and they did a long form video and this channel had like 550,000 subscribers and they put up a video and they got 1,000, 1 1,200 views. And this channel has 550,000 subscribers, which means that 500 and 48,800 people who were subscribed to that channel wasn't interested in their long form content. See, here, here's the thing. And um, this is one of the issues that Pat Flynn, a smart passive income, he, he, was, he put out a video years ago talking about you should not do podcasting on YouTube. Now, YouTube is this, this is the next thing. And we're going to talk about this. YouTube is about to go very, very strong on podcasts, really, really strong. And this is why you're seeing podcasts blow up. And, you know, he's kind of speaking a little, little flaky because, you know, YouTube's pushing it because here's the thing. Why are shorts taking off? Because YouTube is pushing them. YouTube is pushing them and YouTube is going to push podcasts. So if you want to start a podcasting channel, a video podcasting channel, and this is, this is an issue Pat Flynn had, had because here's the thing. And I, I agree a hundred percent with Pat. When you're on video, your behavior is different. Your behavior is just totally different than when you're doing an audio podcast. It's just totally different. And you know, he's kind of like, you know, do both, you know, have a, a, a video podcast with your key moments and then have your audio podcast. So, you know, it, it's really interesting, but here's the thing. YouTube's about to start pushing podcast really, really hard. And there's something else that's happening with YouTube. This is the best time to start a new YouTube channel. YouTube is starting to push brand new channels. Like I have never seen before. I've seen brand new channels with a hundred thousand views on their first video. So I think YouTube is borrowing some of the tech from TikTok 
because that's one of the things that happens in TikTok. You pull up a TikTok, it hits just right, two, three, four, five million views. So this right now is the best time ever to be starting a brand new YouTube channel because YouTube is doing something very different, very interesting with brand new YouTube channels. And this is something else because I study YouTube. I've been doing YouTube since 2009. And one of the things I consistently see that older channels that have not changed up how they do things are slowly dying. Um, Mike Rashid, Mike Rashid has been on YouTube a long time. Go to his YouTube channel. It's got 1.4, 1.5 million subscribers and he gets 600, 700,000 views per month according to social blade, right? I know a YouTuber who has 70,000 subscribers, not 1.4, 1.5, but 70,000 subscribers who gets 900,000 views per month off of his YouTube channel. And if you're not aware, this is the thing with YouTube. It's about views. Views get you subscribers, views get you money, view everything. It's about the views. So if you're not getting a lot of views, I don't care what your subscriber count looks like because there's the, this is why once again, I'm starting some new YouTube channels, but I have to fit the, this fit them into the schedule appropriately and set them up the correct way. Because one of the things that I've learned, have learned is you just can't just start a YouTube channel without the proper format. Like, you know, I figured out what I wanted to do with this channel. I figured out what I wanted to do with the other channel, which is now mad money. And I have figured out what I wanted to do with the strong cocaine. And it took me a while to figure out exactly what I was going to do because, you know, you, you, you got to have, you got to have a narrative. You have to have a pathway. You, you got to have some other stuff. But once again, if you want to do short form content, knock yourself out. And I guarantee you, and I'm going to say this with a lot that my new YouTube channel, which I haven't started, but I will be starting after six months, I'll be making more money than you will be. And I'll have less views, but I will have more, a more engaged customer. Cause this is another thing with shorts. And this is a derivative of Vine and TikTok is the derivative of Vine and YouTube shorts are a derivative of TikTok. They're the same kind of people. And this group of people who love shorts and there make no mistake about it. There's a group of people who love shorts. Uh, they're not interested in your long form content because these people's attention spans are damaged. They need short form content. Watch the short form content, get the dopamine hit, watch another one, get the dopamine hit. They're in that cycle. They're used to it and they're just not interested in your long form content. And once again, I'm going to ask a question and I hope to see some responses. If short form content, was the magic bullet that many of you think it is. Why haven't 99% of the YouTube you ads you see on YouTube have not converted to shorts? Uh, I'm going to tell you, I know people who run ads. You think they haven't studied shorts. There's a reason that these YouTube ad commercials are two to three minutes. Most of them fall between two and 10 minutes. And there's some that go up to an hour, but there's a reason. There's a reason that these commercials are two to three minutes long and shorts are under 60 seconds. Sometimes a short might be 30 seconds. Sometimes a short may be just a dance move where they'll do that. And that's the beginning and end of the short. It's just not enough time. And I, I can tell you this from personal experience. I can tell you this from the millions of dollars I've made and you're not going to listen because you're like, well, yeah, we need to do shorts. We need to do shorts. Yeah, you know, you should be doing shorts. I don't jump on current trends unless after, you know, I have to study them because uh, the car rental business that ha has completely um, reformatted me. Um, with the car rental business, I've learned, you know, that was really good for me because I learned a lot because um, one of the things that I'm getting ready, one of the things I'm doing, I'm not getting ready to do it is I'm going to become very, very good with mid journey. I'm going to become really, really good with chat GPT 
and I want to become really, really good with other artificial intelligent platforms. You want to know why? Because I'm using them. I've been using chat GPT about two months. I have been using mid journey about two months and I made, I made a thumbnail today that perfectly reflects the title of the video. And you know, it's like, oh, that's that thumbnail's gonna work. So I've learned a lot and there, there's a lot. And this is one of the reasons that you, yes, you need to be on the artificial intelligence platforms because three years from now, and I'm gonna say this, and I have no regard, I have no doubt. Three years from now, if you just sit back and let this pass, because here's the thing, artificial intelligence is just like cryptocurrency was in the beginning. In the beginning, I remember the beginning because I actually bought some Bitcoin in the beginning. I actually had videos on YouTube trying to urge you to buy Bitcoin and y'all weren't interested. It just wasn't interested. Now, I've seen uh, YouTube channels, TikTok channels literally grow to millions of subscribers talking about cryptocurrency. So I'm here to tell you, I'm here to tell you that if you just keep sitting on your hands and you don't in, in, move over to ChatGPT, Midjourney, Leonardo, Galley, you don't know these things, three years from now, you're going to regret it. You're going to deeply regret it. Now, why do I say that? Three years from now, everything that we have, ChatGPT, Midjourney, uh, Copy AI, it's going to be way better. But here's the thing, and I, I, I'll share this with you. I was watching a YouTube video where a guy put in a Midjourney prompt, right? And I was like, that looks like a good prompt. And I tried to use that prompt, it wouldn't work. That prompt that he put up in a YouTube video would not work. And I went through the comment sections because essentially I copied the prompt word by word and it didn't work. It didn't work. And I went to the YouTube comments and then people were just like, oh man, this is great. Which tells me that most people are not operators. Because, you know, if I did that and I had to go find another YouTube video to figure out how they make that prompt work, which he completely left all of this stuff out. And I'm just sitting there like, he seems like a smart guy. That prompt didn't work. I don't know if it used to work, but it didn't work for me. And I had to do a different kind of prompt to get the result that I wanted. And this is how I made that new YouTube thumbnail that's over there at the Strong Cocaine. And, you know, I've been doing this two months, right? And I am by no stretch of the imagination really good. I am still, I'm in the kindergarten phase of my AI journey. I know this. I realize this. Now, this time next year, I will be in grad school because I use it every day. And I learn so much about it every day because I'm a user. And, you know, let, let's kind of go into it. Skynet. All right. I think Skynet's 30 to 40 years away. Even the, even if artificial intelligence becomes conscious, right? We do not have the infrastructure. And when I say infrastructure, I'm talking about the machines and the tools to build things. We do not have a machine at the moment that a computer can talk to this machine and this machine can build something. We will in the future. We will in the future. We will have computers talking to machines. We will have factories where there will not be a human in there. In the future, we'll have factories where there will not be a human in there. And at that point, even if AI becomes conscious and aware, uh, it's not a lot that it can do at the moment. Maybe mess up the traffic lights. I don't know. I don't know it because everything that is connected to a computer, if AI becomes conscious, it can hack into that computer. But we are a long, long way from Skynet creating the Terminator bots because we do not have the capacity 
at the moment for a machine to make more machines. That's the missing link. And this is why so many people are scared of chat GPT, scared of mid journey, just scared because man, that's just the beginning of Skynet. We're going to have Skynet. Uh, now I will say that 30 years in the future, I will be, I'll be 86 years old, 30 years in the future. I feel that at that point, we would have all of the infrastructure, all of the materials for a Skynet, Skynet like event to happen. Because at that point, we're going to have machines building machines. We're going to have, I mean, a machine could like, there was this one movie I was watching on Netflix about this computer dog and this computer dog destroyed itself, but it's essence or call it its soul was still alive and it was building another dog to insert itself into. And so we get to that kind of technology. There's only so much that the artificial intelligence can do. There's only so much it can do. And this might be something a little different. Um, when artificial intelligence becomes aware, and I think that's a pretty good uh, likelihood that it will, um, you know, the, the read is that artificial intelligence is going to design that, decide that humanity is trash and we need to clean the planet of the trash. I got a theory to you, for you. What if artificial intelligence says, hey, let's make humanity better. And there's not this big wave to destroy humanity, but it, there comes this wave and tech and, and ingenuity, ingenuity to make humanity better. Uh, I want you to think right now, you can do this right now. You can create what's called a designer baby. You want a baby with blue eyes? They can do that. You want a baby with blonde hair? They can do that. Now imagine, imagine that the artificial intelligence creates a league of super babies. These babies are going to have perfect genes. They're going to have extremely high IQs. And that's kind of where I'm thinking is going to happen. I don't think that we're going to have this destruction and this. I, I just think that the chat GPT, the AI, the future is just going to make humanity better. And we're going to start producing superhumans. These people will be embedded with the DNA with the, the cause these, these superhumans, they're going to be incredibly smart. They're going to be super smart. They're going to be athletic. They're going to have the perfect gene structure. They'll never get fat and they will live a lot longer than us traditional human beings. Uh, probably when these super babies are being born, they're going to probably live to be 200 because they're going to be born with the perfect genetic makeup from a mental standpoint, from a physical standpoint. These people won't even start looking old until they're like 140. They will look, they will be looking fine and healthy at one, 120, 130, around 140. They'll start looking a little, a little older. And that's one of the things that I think is going to happen. And this is going to be driven by artificial intelligence. It's going to be driven by the advances in, advances in society. So I'm not worried about Skynet. I'm not worried about it at all. One of the things, one of the reasons I'm not worried about it is when Skynet becomes a real and distinct possibility, I'll be really old. <laughs> I'll be 86 years old. I'll be, you know, so, you know, we will see, but I don't think we're going to have this dark, dark future of Skynet killing the world and, you know, creating, I, I don't think that's going to happen at all. I just think that we're going to have a league of superhumans. They're going to have perfect DNA. They're going to come out the womb. And this is something else too. Uh, how, when do you start remembering? I started having my first memories that I can go back to about two, three years old, right? These super babies, 
they're going to come out the womb and they're going to have memory. They're going to be remembering sliding out the room. They're going to remember being in the nursery and they're going to start speaking way sooner than traditional babies. These babies will start speaking at months versus a few years and they will start walking earlier and they will because they're going to be super babies. They're just going to be super babies. So we're going to have that's that's what I'm kind of figuring that the artificial intelligence is going to do is to make humanity better, to make humanity more prone, make humanity um, a lot more advanced. That's what I think is coming. So if you're scared to use artificial intelligence tools because you're worried about Skynet, um, you don't have to worry. I mean, we got 30, 40 years in the future because we just don't have the infrastructure for, our, you know, like, like let's say chat GPT woke up and became aware today. It can do a lot of stuff online in terms of computers, but in terms of building the machines, building, it, it just doesn't have that capacity. Now, one of the things that's thought to be common is how Russia influenced the presidential election when Donald Trump became president. Now I can see the artificial intelligence doing stuff like that, influencing elections, creating that, but the true Skynet scenarios of creating these artificial beings to hunt down and kill humans, that's way off in the future, way off in the future. If it, if it does ever happen. So, do not let that stop you from using AI and becoming very uh, cognizant and aware of the abilities of AI. Don't. All right. It's May, man. We, we're, we're, we're going down that tunnel and a lot of stuff is coming up. So the price of the corporate citizen playbook is going up June 1st which is this coming Thursday. So you want to go ahead and get in the corporate citizen playbook. You want to learn how to build stuff. You want to learn how to create stuff because I teach you how to set up a holding company. I teach you how to set up an operating company. I teach you how to do your corporate banking. I teach you how to present yourself for future um, business credit. I teach you a lot. And then this weekend we're getting into the things that you need to do to set yourself up for your business. And, you know, once again, whether I'm finished or not, the price is going up because sometime next week, I would say Monday, you would be looking at 20 hours of training. So if you just go ahead and get into the system and you go through the money course and you go through the productivity course and you start working on chat GPT, uh, the um, corporate citizen playbook. And then, oh man, we're going to get into how to make a lot of money with a small YouTube channel. That course is going to be wild. It, it's going to be very, very wild. So if you want all that, go ahead and get in the corporate citizen playbook today so you can start learning this stuff because this is the thing. Um, whenever someone signs up, I send out an email saying the starter kit and that email by Monday is going to be much longer of the things you need to do, things you need to orientate yourself with, the things you need to set yourself up with. And, um, I can already just tell you, um, uh, I'm going to include, there's going to be a different thing. Uh, I'm going to have a bundle where you can go ahead and get everything. You can get the corporate citizen playbook. You can get the YouTube training. And then I'm just going to have a bundle with the YouTube training by itself. I just want to see how that's going to happen. And the prices will be different, but we will see because your better option would be to get the corporate citizen playbook training because that's going to give you everything that I'm doing this year. And I'm going to do with the YouTube training uh, I'm going to get ready to do some intellectual property training and I may set that up where you'll get all the intellectual property stuff. It, I got to think about that, but a lot of stuff is happening in 2023. So go ahead 
get in the corporate citizen playbook and get yourself ready for all this training that's coming towards you. My name is Glendon Cameron. I will see you guys in the next video.